In order to get Galhorn, you do need to own the 30th Anniversary DLC. In the first step, you need to go to Zer and his treasure hoard. You'll want to scroll to the second page and pick the quest up. You can also check the quest archive over in the tower to see if you have it in there waiting for you. For the first step, we need to head to Shahan, and he's going to have you complete the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon. I actually save this checkpoint each week, so if you want help, this will take about like 5 or 10 minutes with help, rather than you doing the whole dungeon just for this step. And if you want help, come by kick.com slash tricks. I can help you out not only getting this step done, but also getting in the catalyst for this and after completing the grasp of avarice dungeon we need to head back to shahan and kill yellow bar fallen on the cosmodrome you can find a public event that has fallen or just go around and kill the yellow bar fallen that you see across the cosmodrome it won't take you long at all and once again we need to head back to shahan and he's going to tell us to talk to banshee after talking to banshee you have to go to the exodus garden 2a lost sector over in the cosmodrome this is just a normal version of the lost sector not master after you complete this lost sector go back to shahan and you can assemble the galahorn that's how to get the weapon, now I'm going to be going over how to get the catalyst within the Grasp of Avarice dungeon. So for the first step of the Galahorn catalyst, after that opening entrance to the dungeon, there's going to be a Reaver Vandal over here. And what we have to do, there's going to be a Reaver Vandal for all three steps of the catalyst. So all you have to do is shoot him until he drops an engram, you don't have to kill him. We pick the engram up, we get burdened by riches. We come over to this chest up here. Collect the loot. And that's the first step of the Galahorn Catalyst. So we'll go on to the second encounter of this. The second part of the Catalyst. After we get the Scorch Cannon, open the door, and the barrel goes down the stairs. There's going to be another Reaver Vandal. Once we get up here. Yep, there he is. So same thing again. Just shoot him. So he drops in and Graham. There it is. Mine picked it up, but that's all right. Get another one real quick. There we go. So we pick the engram up. We have burdened by wretches. So we jump up here. And then you can jump across to this platform. And then open that chest. And that's the second part. So the final step of the catalyst is actually after the servitor encounter where you gotta launch all those. So that's where we'll be next. The encounter, what we're gonna do is we are going to go back across up there so we're not going to go up to the final boss what we're going to do is going to rotate this that way it goes back that way you grab the scorch cannon and what we're going to do Go back up there's gonna be another reaver vandal and what we have to do is we have to make it back to the chest up top there so i'm going to show you the route to take the easiest way if you have strand it also makes it really easy you can just grapple up to the top of that chest so if you have strand, you definitely want to put it on for this part anything that will help your movement you want because it's a little bit of a time crunch so we go to find this reaver vandal he'll travel all throughout this area too as you can see so he drops the engram, we have burden by riches. We have 30 seconds to get back over there. So we shoot that. We get launched across. And I've already done this, so I won't be able to loot the chest. But yeah, we come back here. Or you just grapple up. And we open the chest. And boom. There's a catalyst. That's how to get Galhorn and his catalyst. If you need any help, once again, kick.com slash tricks will help you get it done. Super, super easy. As you can see, it's really not that hard anyway to get this catalyst. So for the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, fish.